Time to use the router table finger hold jig that I made. We do sell plans for this on our website, so definitely check those out there. I'm installing the 45916 5 16 inch radius half inch shank core box bit to cut the finger holds into the side of this cutting board. You can see here we have several different adjustments. One of the adjustments keeps the board nice and flush up against the jig, and then the other one is a fence to set the length of that finger hold. So we'll just turn the bit on and set that down on top of it, and we'll take two passes to get down to the final depth here. This worked extremely well, and this jig definitely helped make this really nice and safe. So I'm gonna raise this up to its final height after taking that first pass to get the finger groove down at the final depth that we want. So it worked really nicely, and it gave me perfectly clean results. Really happy with the way that that worked. And it's a nice, safe way to do this on the router table without your piece moving on you at all, which is definitely what generally happens if you're just riding up against the fence since it's such a short fence. So anyways, this is done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, everybody.